probably the nicest introduction that I have. She's <laughs> <laughs> so kind and sweet. I asked my daughter, what do I do with the icebreaker speech? Bombazo. She said, <laughs> you tell them who you were, you tell them who you are, and you tell them what you want to be. That was easy. I was younger, I'm now older, and I want to be 20 years younger. <laughs> Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> fellow Toastmaster. My name is, as Jimmy mentioned, Tom Lau. Today, I want to share with you a little bit about myself and also to talk about you know, why I joined Toastmaster. You see, in year 2020, I have three goals. First, don't die. It's COVID. Second, work, work, work. And third, join a Toastmaster club. My wife generally reminded me this year, hey, your goal number three is to I picked up the phone and talked to Greg, and he convinced me to join a club. Thank you so much, Greg. You see, I grew up in Malaysia. My grandparents journeyed from China to a new land and a new country called Malaysia. War does not determine who is right, only who is left. My grandfather was taken and snatched away by the Imperial Japanese Army when he was really young. He left behind a young wife and four children. My grandmother, at the age of 28, had to raise four children, and my father was the youngest. Like a bird, she did not sing because she had an answer to something. She sang because she has a song. Unfortunately, she lost her hearing. Perhaps it was due to illness, but maybe sadness. Through it all, she kept on singing, perhaps even louder. She was never remarried and died at an old age. Like a plum blossom, which is a symbol of resilience and perseverance in the face of adversity, my grandmother did not choose where, what, and how. She bloomed where she was planted. Both my parents were boomers and baby of wars. My father never talked much about her, his childhood. And I think he doubted there was anything to talk about that would bring a smile to his children's face. However, my parents were the best example of hard work and dedication that I ever seen in my life. Even an old war horse still desired to gallop a thousand miles. But for my parents, the desires were not for themselves, it was for their children. Only later on in my life, I grew up, I realized my not so magazine worthy life, it was boring. But I realized it was not so. You see, my parents gave me, the children, what they didn't have growing up as a child. That is the stability, the focusing on one another, and the quiet togetherness. <laughs> Don't misunderstand. I still have a lot of fun growing up. As the youngest child in the family of the company of two sisters above me, I get to be dressed up like a prince. Or maybe I thought it was a prince. You know, I didn't know at that age that prince wear dress. <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, I didn't know that at that age that you know that was setting. Respect is given, not earned in an Asian culture. You guys can probably attest to it, Shen. Maybe that was the reason why I rode my bicycle like 50 miles an hour and chasing the bad guys in the neighborhood with water guns. The psychiatrist would have said that I have unresolved anger issue. Like marigolds, although with full heat and blossom, in full sun and plenty of airflows, my parents did not choose the what, the why, and how. They bloom where they were planted. My wife Shirley and I, we moved from Singapore to the United States in the year 2005. We have three children ranging from going to be in the kindergarten, going to be graduating from high school and halfway through college. 
Our oldest son, Joshua, he's a people person. He is upright. Our middle daughter, she is an intellect. She's our blessing. Our youngest daughter, Isabel, she's our joy. And according to her own words, I can be who I want. <laughs> Together, we are PBJ, peanut butter jelly. <laughs> As a family, we celebrate things and accomplishment. We believe little deeds trump over big intentions. We take time to eat together, to watch movies together, and to pray together. People say family are like fudge, mostly sweet and some nuts. In our family, it's like cake, all sweet and all special. I want to encourage you today, no matter what you do, be at your best. Trust that you have a future and a hope. No matter where you are today, I say, bloom. Thank you so much. Tom, thank you. And it is, for, is tradition for those uh, 